What are you doing? I don't want you that close to me. Are you kidding me, Kim? Okay. Do you realize how insane you sound saying that? You don't want me that close to you? I don't trust you. Really? What you did tonight was unforgettable. I didn't do anything, Kim. Do you I act like an insane person, okay? I'm so sick of your crap. Everybody is. Everybody's sick of what you put us through. And here you are again with all your antics again and all this drama. Causing a whole big scene tonight at Taylor's party. Tell her how you felt. Tell her. Tell her exactly what you What do you me. talk to you me? You have to tell her. You have to have communication. This is the problem. So Taylor came over to me and said something. And within seconds, there's Lisa, there's you. It was so unfair, Kyle. I, I was just I talking walked to Taylor. Up in the middle of a conversation, no. Kim. I walked I was up in the middle of a conversation. To and yeah, you know, and you were talking, and I heard my name, and I walked up. I've always had your back. No, you have not, Kim. No, you have not. I don't think you want to go there right now. You have not had me back, and you know that. I took care of my whole family growing up. I mean, I bought her her first car, bought her home. You know, I did it all. Oh my God, you're embarrassing. I'm embarrassing? Really? I'm the one who's sick of being embarrassed and defending you. Oh, don't. Well, maybe I won't anymore. Good. You are unbelievable. Gosh, Kyle. Look okay, well, you fing phony. I'm the farthest from that, okay? You need to get help. What are you doing with this whole thing in here like this? What are you doing? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And mom had to die worrying about you and stressing about you and leave this on my shoulders. After everything that I have done for you, everything I've done for you, I'm always there for you. Everything you've done for me? Yeah, yeah, everything I've done for you. You stole my goddamn house! Listen. Did you hear what you just said, Kim? Listen. Oh, are you out of your f***ing mind? Okay. You are so you sick. Did you hear what you just said? My husband has helped you every month and stood by you and taken care of you, okay? Like you're a second f***ing wife. So f*** you for oh talking like God. that. You're no, 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 a liar. You better f***ing take that back right now. You better f*** you it. Stop it. Stop, stop, stop it. right stop now. It. Stop, stop it. it. You are a stop. liar stop. and sick and an alcoholic. Stop it. Stop okay? My, you are an oh alcoholic. Yes, that's oh right. God. That's right. I've said it now. Everybody knows. So get the hell out of here. Get the hell out of here. Quiet. Quiet. Drink. Stop. 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 You are so okay. demented. You will not believe what she has just said and done. Kim, I want you to know something right now. Anything we've ever helped you with is over. You're on your own now. We're done. I feel attacked. And I'm not sure if I will ever be able to talk to her again. This is really bad. <laughs> <sighs> That's a hard one. I forgot. How like? I forgot. Heavy. This was. I mean, it's not hard to watch, but it is hard it was, to watch. It was yeah. almost like the original Teresa Melissa saga. But like way deeper. Way, way deeper. deeper. And like actually and history. And like actually like legit. Like yeah. like this that's not like, oh I just you should control your husband and stuff. Like Like a Muppet. Yeah. <laughs> Look at her hair. I, I love the choker. First and foremost. I think that should have been an episode in itself. Kim and her choker. <laughs> I love I'm the like old school limo. I'm like shook right now. Well, like, I'm like kind of shook right because now. Because I'm Kim all the way. Team Kim? No, sorry. I'm not Team Kim. I'm Team Kyle. Yeah. Because I agree. I, yeah. But, but, but I'm also Team Kim. It's hard because I do believe that Kim did support the family growing up because she was the older child star. She no, I, I, I think it's and all. And there is pressure there. I think it's all out there. And I think that like, look, say what you want about Kyle for putting her business out there that she's an alcoholic, but. She is. She needed to defend herself. And like, she, I also think it was like, not to make excuses, Kyle's way of protecting her and yeah. being like, you have to 
yes. get help, and if like you have to go lower before you get high. Well, like, because she was saying a lot of stuff, and, and like there's, I was and like, they're supporting you're her drunk. now. But now they're supporting yeah. her. I forgot that Mauricio and Kyle were supporting Kim. It's tough to watch. She didn't have any money, but she had money for that choker. <sighs> well, I'm glad they're better. I think they're working I'm on like their shook about, I'm like shook about this. But like, it brings I you back. I forgot how like this was like season one. Yeah. Kyle looks amazing. Adrian Maloof has a boyfriend who I was like, who's this guy? I completely forgot that she was like on the show dating a new guy after her divorce. So, okay. Just crazy. Okay. But like. Yeah. Yeah, this was, um. No words. I'm never speechless. I, uh, I know. I, I just hate seeing sisters fight like that. Yeah. I mean, but also I'm. Yeah. Will tune in and probably watch this clip 15 more times because that's well, you know what we do, do. <laughs> in honor of Kim's sobriety. Kim. <laughs> Ooh, hot piping tea. I hope I don't spill this everywhere. Subscribe or watch more videos to get all of our non validated opinions being made by Brian. See you soon.